people, you know, as I've grown older, who have been an inspiration uh, to me. Um, uh, specifically, you know, I can think of Guadalupe de la Vega from Ciudad Juarez, whom I met over almost 30 years ago. And this kind of boundless energy and a desire to change lives for the better. And she does. You know, a knowledge of that. But the thing that someone like her that inspires me so much is that it's not about her, it's about what's possible in all of us. Uh, someone like Tom Lee was a huge influence in my life who at age 93 when he died had not lost the wonder of life. I'm inspired every day from everyday people who, I, I love the man down in the parking lot. When I pulled in, I was late, he could tell me, he runs to move it for me so I could park. But he runs to do it. I love that. I love the UPS man who comes in here and loves his job, you know. But an artist I'm writing about now, and I'm grateful for the time to have to sit and think about him, James McGee, who also works under a female pseudonym, Annabelle Livermore, the beginning to try to put down on paper. Because in the everydayness of life, you know, I'm paying him for his art, or I'm selling his art, or hauling it here, or creating it there. But to sit down and start thinking about how, what a troubled life he had in New York City, and when he came to El Paso, what a healing experience it was for him, and how he's really blossomed, not only in his own work, but in this female alter ego, is really inspiring to me. So I'm grateful to know people like that.